we need to put in good plants because we need plants in the habitat to create good habitat for fish and, and other critters. So the plant that I'll be showing you guys today is Vallisneria. This is a completely submersed plant, so I can bring it out of the water for just a few seconds to show it to you, but it really has to be underwater all of the time. So this is a good native plant. It's a perennial, so it lives for many years. It reproduces vegetatively, so it makes pups. So it makes babies that are connected to it, so you don't have to uh, plant a whole bunch at one time. It'll make a big population on its own. So we have submersed sod. This is a, a two-part mat, so it's got an inside section that's called uh, mattress quars. So this is a, uh, a naturally sourced, renewable, sustainable product. It's made completely out of coconut fiber, and it's very easy to plant native plants in. And then planting them, there's almost nothing easier. You take one of these plants, just stick the plant in and hold it in place, tighten up the ropes around the crown, and you're done. So we put them six inches apart, and after four to five months of growing them in a tank like this, this mat that started with 180 plants will have 5,000 plants in it. So then what? So we get big fence posts and we just roll these mats up just like they're on a spool. They're crazy heavy. They're rolled with the plants on the inside, roots on the outside. Uh, we tie them with twine to keep them from unspooling. We put big plastic bags over the roll and then we can actually hold them like that for several days. And we go from having it as a roll in the boat to being attached to the bottom of the pond in a minute and a half. So you float the roll into place, you untie it, you unroll it, and then you anchor it down with uh, landscape staples that we have custom fabricated out of rebar. So we basically staple the entire mat down in three places and we walk away and we've made a habitat in a minute and a half. This could be useful in retention ponds, it's useful anywhere you need to create good habitat or um, soil stabilization. So it's, uh, it has broad applications and so our goal is definitely for the greater good. We would love to get this more widely adopted because it really is a good successful way to do restoration of a, of a submersed plant because it's, it's challenging to plant submersed plants. Um, but maybe someday. So. You guys tell people about it and ask for it and maybe we can get somebody to start growing it out in the real world.